A member of the House Democratic leadership, Massachusetts Congresswoman Catherine Clark. She is the vice chair of the House Democratic Caucus. She joins us live from Capitol Hill. Congresswoman, thank you for taking a few minutes. Let me just ask you first, translate for all of us what exactly is happening on the House floor right now, because we saw the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, on the floor of the House reading from that resolution, saying the president's words were racist. We saw an objection from Republicans saying they want to take down her words. We saw a one hour delay. Steny Hoyer appear and say appear to say her words did violate House rules. But now we see this vote to strike her words failing, going down. What exactly is happening right now? Uh, Steve, it's good to be with you. And let me tell you exactly what is happening. Once again, we are seeing the GOP decide to attack Democrats instead of standing up and saying to the president, it is not OK to make racist attacks against sitting members of Congress. It is not OK to say there are good people on both sides in Charlottesville. It is not OK to have a Muslim ban. It is not OK to try and continue to divide the American people instead of working for American families and putting their interests on the table in Congress and at the White House. What, this is getting, we, we, we were talking about this Casey Hunt, there, there, there's a level of, of sort of, you know, ar arcana here, it's an obscure House procedure, but help us understand this uh, again, what exactly happened? Is, is, it, is it or was it before this vote a violation of House rules for a member to say that something the president had said was racist? Was that, was that a violation of House rules? Uh, my understanding is that was the ruling of the parliamentarian. But let's not let the arcane rules of the House distract us, as this president wants us to be, from what's really happening. We have the president who has made blatant ra racist tweets against four sitting members of Congress using language that has always been used historically when we are trying to suppress people of color. Just the other night, John Lewis said when he was marching in civil rights era, they would always chant to him, go back to where you came from. This language is specific and we know what it means. And we know what it says to all Americans that this president is willing to use racism to divide, to distract from his policies that are putting the 1% ahead of everyone else. And what we have today is the GOP using very detailed arcane rules of the House to try and somehow defend this outrageous behavior. It is not okay. It is not okay for the president. It is not okay for the GOP to be trying to use these rules to, to give him cover for blatant racist comments. What are you expecting? Um, f first of all, again, we we're seeing a, a delay here. This vote tonight, is it still going to happen? When is it going to happen? And what do you expect? What, what do you think from your Republican colleagues there on the other side of the aisle? How many do you think are going to cross over? I, you know, I, I remain hopeful that some of them, we saw a handful of Republicans actually saying, this goes too far. This is, it's not within how we conduct ourselves. It doesn't live up to our American values to have the president of the United States making these blatant tweets. So once again, we're gonna put it before the GOP. I believe we will vote on this tonight and I believe it will pass. And it's a condemnation of a president and those who blindly support him. And I'm not talking about people who voted for him, but people in power here in Congress who continue to make excuses for the most outrageous behavior and just say it's all okay. Maybe it violated a parliamentary rule. What's important to families at home is who's fighting for them. And I can tell you, it is not this president and it is not his enablers in the GOP. Again, let me just, it's a parliamentary rule. We talk about it being obscure, but it does seem, I, I imagine it strikes people as maybe a little surprising that there is a parliamentary rule in the House that no member could say of the president, hey, something the president said is racist. That's the genesis of this, of this uh, 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 sort of delay on the House floor right now. I'm just asking procedurally so we can be clear what's happening. Is that a rule that, that right now 
you're in the process of challenging or changing. Is that at all what we're seeing happen on the House floor right now? No, what we're seeing here is just that acting out. It's a uh, it's a strange term, but it's called striking the words. It would remove those comments from the official congressional record. And then we'll probably take another vote to allow Nancy Pelosi to continue to be able to address Congress today. So there'll be two procedural votes, but we shouldn't get lost in the process here. What's important is what is happening with this White House and this administration and the way they continue to try and distract us and divide us so that we don't see what they're really doing, which is not working for the American people, not making sure there is a path of opportunity forward, whether you are black, brown, Asian, white, or Native American in this country. That's what Democrats are working for. Our For the People agenda is called that for a reason, because we are trying to restore those issues those issues around economic security for families to Congress to break through the, the hold of special interests and this president's obsession with continuing to give wealth and power to only the wealthy and the powerful. Okay, Congresswoman Catherine Clark, Democrat from Massachusetts, thank you for joining us. Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel, so thank you. Now do me a favor. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Meet the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP, and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.